The actors and writers strike is costing movie studios about $600,000 per week. And the former president's 20th Century Fox states that if the strike continues till Christmas, Hollywood is doomed. And major news outlets are begging you to care. And what's more, the actors are trying to make you feel sorry for them. Like this actor right here, D.B. Woodside, who in this really long post stated, well, actors are out shooting on location in a different country and are different states. The studios are not paying for their mortgages or their rent. And even though Hollywood and the mainstream media are begging us to care, I think it's fair to say that nobody cares. We don't care because for the past two years, these writers and actors have been producing nothing but dog shit. And quite frankly, the American people have more important things to care about. Things such as the record high inflation rate that has turned having a full fridge into a luxury. Or the record high interest rates that are making it nearly impossible to buy a home. And it's not going to get any easier for hardworking Americans. As the Fed keeps on printing money for needless spending such as sending billions of dollars to a war in Ukraine. And who is supporting these policies of politicians that are bringing down the middle class? Well, it's the same actors in the same Hollywood that wants us now to care about their little strike they have going on. So how about this? How about we start caring about these writers and these actors and their little strike if these actors in Hollywood start supporting policies and politicians that actually want to do good for the working class, that actually want to do things like, I don't know, lower taxes cut needless spending that is causing inflation i mean here's hollywood actor sean penn begging you to care about the writer's strike all while supporting politicians such as the governor of california that pushes policies and make it nearly impossible for middle-class hard-working families to live in california look at this poll shows that 40 percent of californians are thinking about leaving the state well, duh! You have record high violence, it's nearly impossible to buy a house, you have a huge homeless problem, and nearly half of everything you make goes to the government. This is why millions from California are literally moving to states such as Texas or Florida. States where these policies don't exist. Ironically, the same policies that these actors in Hollywood are pushing for. Again, these policies that these actors in Hollywood push for are detrimental to the hardworking middle class of America. So when these actors in Hollywood beg us to care about their little strike? No, we don't care. Quite frankly, I am a little happy they're still striking and I am hoping that this strike lasts as long as it needs to. Because if it means that Hollywood is gonna stop pushing out the dog shit with their propaganda filled movies and TV shows, then that's a win for us. That's a win for our children. And this is another scare tactic that these actors are using, right? They're saying that Hollywood studios are gonna start using AI to make stories. To which I say, okay, is that going to be any better than the dog shit they've been writing for the past two years? I mean, everything that we've gotten for the last two years has either been remakes filled with identity politics or superhero movies filled with identity politics. So to these actors complaining that the movie studios are not paying their mortgages while they're out in some other country shooting a movie, all I have to say is, how does it feel to be on the same struggle bus with the rest of us. Maybe instead of demanding more money from studios, you demand better policies from these politicians that are making it harder for the rest of us to live. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit the notification bell because apparently that means something for the algorithm. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.